What is up? Work here and gonna go over my Prot Paladin build. This is week two and we are kind of a low eye level, uh, at least compared to everyone in my guild. And that is because we are rolling with the four set from last season, uh, sadly still. However, I have two heroic pieces over here ready to be catalyzed. I think next week we have KSM tokens. So if we get something fat out of the vault, like uh, you know, K like a mythic tier, or just really like anything heroic or normal from our raid, we should be four pieced and we should jump up like a pretty decent high level. And we have kind of mid weapons and trinkets too as well at this point. This is the build, pretty standard, and I am running Everbloom. I think this is a 16 tyrannical second week and uh i'm pretty much here just to farm the healing trinket because i play holy and raid so i play prot to go get my um my trinkets so it's a 16. Uh, i am new to tanking has been a while um try to pull a little bit of threat on those a little avenger shield run over here kind of let them run towards me they start casting and then um hopefully divine shield smart targets them i do have uh, kind of like an aoe burst trinket however i think the dh has still pulled this uh Stinger away from me. And looks like I'm going to just stand in place in freedom. I think I'm sacking the uh, H pal. I think I tried to lay on hands him, but then realized that they're a paladin. They probably already bubbled or something like that. I should have lay on hands the DH. Uh, it's bursting this week. There's, I, I would normally pull these two packs together. I'm still working on the route, actually. I think we just pull one. You could just pull just this side, but I just like to like Omega pull both of those together but i've done that on a 17 and it like literally kills everybody there's no living it but you know a couple deaths and you just run back from the beginning not too bad looking forward to not bursting um however this is slightly better than sanguine looks like i got stunned by maybe a cast i don't actually know uh this is still a lot of bursting <laughs> uh so we're just burst killing everybody <laughs> And it, it always takes like the first pull like this for everyone to be like, oh yeah, actually we, we gotta chill out. And uh, on the higher keys, um, I've done this on like a 20 as Red Paladin. I, I'm normally the one dying. So uh, it's my, as tank, I get to just kind of watch everyone else die. I think for count, um, I probably don't need this. I don't remember. This is not a super efficient count. Uh, this route, this isn't even a route. I look at MDT and I'm like, I don't know which one. There's that part towards the end with like this huge gauntlet of trash. I'm like right before council is like, I can't tell what's, what's what on uh, mythic dungeon tools. So I just kind of do this dungeon over and over again. Right now, even this kind of like low gear level, 16s are fine on tyrannical. And, and, and this is a pretty boss dungeon here. So I didn't pull the any of those stingers. Sometimes they just get body pulled and they come in and... I'm not that mad about going over on a, on a tyrannical week. Uh, the trash dies fast enough, and it's really the casters at the end that are dangerous. The The most dangerous thing on a, on a 16 tyrannical is going to be bursting. Like, none of this is too bad. Uh, we're running. DH has a stun. Uh, I'm not sure if the other paladin has blinding. I have blinding. Th there's plenty of kicks. We all die to this after. This is, this is what happens. So I just ran this on a 17 before this as, um, as tank. And uh, it was a holy priest, and like they could, they could not contribute much healing to me. Okay, look at this pull already. Uh, shield, silence, and then divine toll these ones. It's a little scuffed, and if if people jump in really early before they're grouped up, then uh, I'll probably lose aggro. But I don't know. That that's kind of like the fun way of pulling as prop paladin. Like uh, as vengeance, you can kind of uh, jump on them and then sigil them together. For me, I have to be like, hey, what's up? Once they start casting, Avenger shield. Once the other ones start casting, divine toll. That's why I group casters. Uh, without Divine Toll, I don't feel like I can actually group up uh, this next pack here. Otherwise, we definitely want to pull those together. Uh, with Bursting, healer's probably not too mad that I'm not going to uh, pull the entire thing at once because they all die and everyone dies. So this one, just a kind of a little mini pull. Um, if I don't have Divine Toll again, like I'm not going to really be able to group these up. They're all casters. They're, they're just going to end up like kind of stuck over there. Uh, I've seen, uh, it requires like a lot of coordination. That's something we would do in like a, a, a pure pug, maybe in like a guild group. But I've seen all of these casters, all four packs, plus the patrol pulled all at once and then LOS to get them together. That's really good too, especially on like big fortified keys. But for like, you know, for a pug or whatever, that's, that's way too much. So I have Divine Toll and that guarantees the roundup of these three and we get to ho hopefully get our cooldowns back. I'm not watching the mage's cooldowns or DH 
cooldowns at all. I don't track that yet, but maybe as we get into the higher keys, I'll, you know, consider that. But it's it's pugging, so I, I pretty much just do uh, the route that I know and feel comfortable with. So I'm interested to watch. I think we probably do go over count here. Um, so that's, that's part of watching this back and looking for mistakes and whatnot. So I had just done this on a 17 Tyrannical. Man, still me where to tank it. Like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to... Thanks so much. Um... I just did a 17, and at this low gear level, this parched gasp here, that hurts. That's like half my health uh, on a 17. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe the healer is like preemptively doing something. I, I'm not really tracking it. But in the last 17 I ran with a Holy Priest, um, every time that happened, even through like my Consecration plus Shield the Righteous, uh, I was like half health. Kind of like how that is right there, actually. So it was like all concentration on just like super word of glorying myself, which is good. It's it's probably like how raiding as prot is. I, I haven't raided in a long time, but if you're like doing progression, you're like a little undergeared. Um, you're probably getting chunked pretty hard, and you just gotta like you know heal yourself back up. Uh, so this phase, I actually don't really know what's going on as DPS or tank. Um, so take take what you will from that. Uh, sometimes I go out there and help. Uh, kill these things and other times I don't and I you know, it just <laughs> There's no real rhyme or reason pop the DPS trinket there burst those down Are you supposed to kill the water things before they get there or like they get there and like that re rejuvenates him? I I don't really know at this high tyrannical It is not a given that they're going to we're gonna kill uh, those orbs unfortified. Yeah, they just die But here I think a lot of them hit them we are doing uh, adequate damage here. I, I haven't looked back at this actually, so Arcane, big pump single target, and I guess there's some pad too, some AoE, and then DH of course, DH also uh, pumping. This makes me want to play Ret. I just need to get my four Ps and craft a Omega two-hander. I think that's what I'm going to craft next. I should not have crafted wrists. That's no fun. We want to go for the fun here. I uh, crafting wrist was super boring with an embellishment. I should have just saved up for a two, two-handed weapon. I'll know that for uh, next season or, or my other tunes. I think my balance druid. We're gonna just save it for the two-hander as well. Like just you know, just rip with that. Even though there's like cool raid ones and stuff, I just just need a two-hander. So not a lot going on here. Uh, again, on on the hierarchies for this. Oh, he's already dead. That's fast. That's this is a lot. Of, we have a lot of DPS here, and our healer is pretty strong as well. Um, because I'm not dead in the middle of this. So, I, uh, in the past, I'd pulled this entire gauntlet um, with, like, stuff, like, because I was just, like, didn't want to, I don't know, I was just killing everything. Uh, but it's getting now, I'm, like, farming again for the healing trinket from this place for Holy, and I'm just, like, okay, we're, we're like, starting to pay attention to count a little bit more. It'll matter more on um, Fortified next week. So we skip all of those. Uh, normally, I pull the entire thing. And so here, I actually don't know what to pull, so I pull everything. I know that that Abomination does like a massive AoE, so he's like kind of not the best thing to bring into like a huge pull on Bursting, but um, we're gonna. I'm not sure if we need all of this, so I'm kind of watching it back. Um, I'll watch some other people's routes, and I ran this on a 20 with uh, the guild, and um, one of the guild tanks running it, but I forgot the route, so... This is part of it. This bursting is awful. This is like trolling the healer. I think I'm, I'm trying to sack. Uh, he's dead. He ran back. Um, it's, it's too much bursting. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. Are, are we supposed to not do big pulls because of this? That's that's one way to do it. But, you know, we, we also want to time it. So it's a balance. And you don't really know. You kind of run in double pull and it's like, does everyone die? Uh, the priest did have a lot of, I think, mass dispel the bursting. I think that's that's possible. So we, we did live that pretty well. But, um... When it came to boss, single target healing me or kind of everyone else, it was, it was definitely tough for Holy. Okay, so this part, I'm actually, I just pull everything because I don't know like a shorter way. So we're, we're pulling this, we're busting out the branch, the heroic branch here, doing some work. How's my DPS looking? I, I haven't even looked at the DPS charts for this. A little bit of a burst on pull here. So these things spin around, these berserkers, these on Fort hurt. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a tough pull. Um, I'm not really familiar how it is on Ford, actually. I've, I've only been uh, kind of doing tanking uh, semi-seriously during uh, Tyrannical. So the trash is like a nice easy learner. So I normally pull all this stuff to the left, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Yeah. 
So probably, um, again, the MDT drawing of this really confuses me. We probably don't need the flowers or something like this. I feel like I'm going to end up uh, just a little bit over, because then I think I pull the entire left side too and all the rest of this dungeon to basically WK pull all the rest of it. But you can definitely skip some of this, and you can definitely skip the one on the side. So I got to look at MDT again, maybe watch some other routes on um, how to do this a tiny bit more minimally. But what's, what's semi-painful is... Uh, it's not the worst, it's being undercount and going back. Uh, but that's not really an issue on a 60 and what we have, um, I think we have like 10 minutes to kill the last boss, we have plenty of time. It's not really, not really gonna be a problem. So I feel like you could probably skip this. I, I'm not positive. Uh, we'll have to go look. This is one what cultivator with some dread petals. Um, I'll definitely go revise my route after and see, but this this is not a like follow this route, but you know, if you want a W key kill everything route, this is <laughs> this is certainly it. I, I kill almost every single thing in this dungeon. We're probably ending up like ten percent over. Or something like that. Lots and lots of bursting. Those flowers all burst, it's pretty painful. You could probably get by that pack on the left that looks skippable, as was the pack over there. Um let's see, what do we want to do here? We're gonna take all of this again. And what I learned from doing this at a hierarchy is that abomination up there you don't want, uh, ideally. If you can do that uh, solo for a little bit, it's it's not too bad. Um, Guild said it's illegal to pull uh, the patrol and the, t the trash at the top because it's like really bad. It would probably also ex in burst and we probably kill everybody, which I feel like we kill everyone bursting just on, a, just on these flowers. So it's a good thing we didn't try to pull in that other mob that's doing AOE damage. Like, we, we'd live it, we'd kill it, but then we'd all die to eight stacks of bursting, probably, so. It does seem like the call. And uh, I actually haven't been monitoring the DPS, but I can just kind of feel, having run uh, just a lot of 16, 17s of this place, still haven't gotten the trinket, but having just run this a lot, I can just tell by how fast the trash dies, um, how the DPS is, and this is this is good. This is, is pretty high. Let's see, uh, we are finishing this up. So this abomination on the higher keys, it must be this toxic AOE. I imagine on fortified 20 or something like that, it like, it's a bit of a health check. It just kills you. Uh, I don't know what next week is, but we'll find out how this cast is right here. Boom, on a higher key, I bet that slaps. So that's why you don't double pull it, because if they both do that, it's, uh, you know, if you have two of those in the pack and they overlap that, it's like pretty much everyone's dead except for the tank, most likely. So could we have skipped some of that? Probably, but we have to pull all of this, I think, or maybe you could skip that patrol over there. This was a scuffed pull. That was really weird. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, still, again, I don't really know the route <laughs> that great. I was like, can we skip these? And I pulled it and you know, we kind of find out the answer was no. Ooh, did I let that go off? I have all my kicks. I think I was just trying to live, possibly. And there goes the bursting. I think I've been pretty uh, on top of it of using Sack, and I'm trying to keep Lay on Hands for this upcoming fight because this next fight is awful, really tough, um, as melee. I haven't done this as Boomkin yet. Uh, I imagine we just chill in the back and, you know, single target down, or maybe we kill, do we AoE here? We can maybe three target AoE as Boomkin, we'll kind of find out. But um, we're finishing uh, up here at 80. So, you know, are we are we kind of over? I, I'm not sure. What's nice right now is the warrior is kind of coordinating. I think this is full pug. I don't think that's a partial guild or anything over there. Uh, I am drinking as a healer, or as a prop paladin. I have to drink a lot, actually, sometimes. And the warrior is definitely organizing with the melee to not uh, drop the stuff on the, um, what's it called? On the boss. So I've done this wrong before, actually, is this the pull? It's not, okay, this is not so bad. So sometimes if you just run in and divine toll all three of them, you don't get aggro on the first boss. And, or maybe it was on, I, I did this on a 17 and on pull, the, uh, the other, the DH in that group pulled threat and died instantly. Uh, so divine toll is not quite enough sometimes. So I don't have aggro on the boss over there. That's pretty rough, and how is he so dead already? Wow, they are destroying that boss. This is the DPS you need. Um, looks like there was, I'm getting hit in the back, probably. I'm a good tank. Uh, I think I had some sort of external on me. Uh, I didn't take any damage, but 
Um, this this Noxic charge here, I need to have everything up and some Holy Power pooled. Boom, heal. So not so bad. I think the the H pal probably has a lot going on. They said swap. I, I don't know what the swap is. You're supposed to just kill that boss. And they've done a great job of keeping um, the green stuff off of the boss. Because when he charges, everyone drops goop. And right as I said it, they did a bad job. But that's okay. It's pretty much dead. So for me, um, I'm pretty sure, like, ideally, you're, like, running the boss back to the other boss for cleave. But that's... I don't know. I think for these lower keys, even up to 20 maybe, it's like... I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> I kind of just tank the other boss like away from it and try to help with kicking. Uh, at this point, it's a little bit easier, but maybe I'll get better at this and we like actually can bring the boss back for cleave, but like, it happens so frequently. And I'm still just trying to get my rotation down and uh, try to get enough holy power. I'm used to holy uh, uh, prop paladin from Shadowlands where Avenger Shield generated holy power, and uh, it doesn't. So I need to, you know... I need to basically get better at not sending Avenger Shield all the time when it's like we're defensive. Definitely the Holy Paladin is healing me here. Uh, I did this <laughs> just like 10 minutes ago on a, with a different group and I was I was dying. I was getting really chunked down. It was a 17, so maybe that's like the, you know, just enough damage that it starts to like get through all my defensives like somehow. But pretty much just tank for this. Uh, and I've watched my guild tanks do this as well. It's like, you're gonna take a huge hit. I, um, is it physical? Is it magical? I, I don't know. Um, so you just gotta charge up your uh, your heal. Be ready. Here it comes boom heal. Just heal it up, and then there's you know you get out of this stuff faster, ideally. And so it's it's way easier once this is down, and luckily our DPS like destroyed that first boss. So that was that was really good. I feel like I can do 100k too, um, sustained uh, without my tears of this ret and like a really bad uh, really bad weapon. But there's such like kind of awful uptime on that boss that you you end up doing kind of kind of bad uh, DPS as melee. Or it's hard unless you're a DH of course, and, and maybe like an outlaw or rogue or something. So I double pull this pack. I don't always, um, but this this group has been doing really well. So I'm like, how about a little bit of bursting after that boss? Uh, and it, I think that is the right call to double pull them. We could probably even, uh, and on, on a non-bursting day, uh, triple pull this together, as long as we don't pull the actual pack in the back, the triple pack. So how are we on count now? We're 83, and we're definitely killing everything up here, except for like a couple things. I don't think we're that over. Let's see how this goes. We should definitely start healing. There it goes. Um, let's see, eight, what are we at? 80, 86%, that's not bad. We're a little over. We definitely have to kill all the sorcerers in here. And I like killing the pack to the left because that's where I tank the boss. And then we have a little bit of count up there. So if we are over, it's not by like a massive amount. We'll, we'll see. I don't have the... I don't think this will tell me how much I'm over. But being up here around like uh, 90, we'll see if that's bad or not. I think we could have skipped those. But again, I go over there with the boss. So I, I don't want those pulling during the boss. The boss is chaotic enough. Uh, looks like we're popping the DPS trinket and a little preview, a reminder of how uh, terrible this boss is. Uh, on Tyrannical, uh, I would say having died to this boss a lot, um, as DPS mostly, is that uh, someone said that like the damage pattern is predictable. I, I've never paid attention. I feel like it's not. Oh, I got stunned. That's great. Um, but anytime you see the fire, especially as DPS, uh, that's a cooldown. That is a defensive because that's just chunks in general. I did this as a 20 and like if you don't defensive and the healer's not paying attention to like you specifically, for me at this kind of low level again, like not even 460 really, um, I was at like 10% health, 20% health. Like it was doing so much damage to me. So anytime there's fire, uh, it's pretty much like pop, pop the defensive. So 97, I, I think we're fine on count. I think this route's, this route's okay. Uh, we just got it, and there's like a couple more adds. We're like perfect on count. This is like not a bad route at all. I think we killed every, like, yeah. That's completely fine. There's like three more like little adds we're gonna get. Um, but I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this W key route. Uh, we're waiting for the DK, or the DH rather. I didn't notice him dying, actually. But I'm telling the group to defensive when she does fire because it's like it makes things chaotic. People panic. 
I panic when you're like, oops, I'm at like 50% health, I'm at 20% health. You're like, am I going to die? Probably not at this level. Uh, with the, I'm assuming they're, they're pretty geared, but this fire hurts. Like, look at everyone's health right now. Holy Paladin's healing it, but like, so they're half health. You know, it's a panic moment. And that's with like the anticipation. I don't know if they're like Ori Mastery or anything like that, but uh, that is when people die, is when you kind of disregard the fire damage. Or that fire damage plus taking the dot after, which we'll see someone do that. Understandable. Uh, that is when you die. Uh, the leaf, the tree, not helping, not helping. Uh, that's the frost bolt. I've eaten one of those as a ret. That's fun. And gotten one shot by it almost. Um, frost bolt, there it is. That's like half my health. We should be healing. There we go. And so, yeah, we're looking for. This doesn't normally do very much damage. It's like that frost bolt hit will definitely hurt. Arcane Blast on me, that wasn't too bad. Um, but it's that fire AoE, plus if you do anything wrong after, you're kind of dead. So I kind of like pulling it where those mobs were, and I just run back to the little circle area, and then I run back to where the mobs were, just kind of back and forth. I uh, don't want to like despawn the boss. I, I haven't done that yet. It's, it's probably possible. But then the fire despawns, and, and not too bad. So kind of having holy power to, to heal if I'm getting targeted by Frostbolt. Mostly the fire one's not too bad. But I'm looking at this Frostbolt cast. Uh, this is fire plus frost. Spicy. Everyone over there getting around half health. Not too bad. They probably have like a better gear than I have uh, when I'm ret. And we should just be pretty much just pooling the holy power. Frostbolt. Who's it going on? Oh, that wasn't too bad. I don't know. But... This boss is the worst when there's a pull and fire. Uh, everything else is kind of fine. Uh, did I bubble that? No. Did I freedom it? That was weird. But, um, you know, there goes our warrior. And it's the deaths aren't done yet. People are like, oh, it's low health. But no, there's still a lot of damage uh, about to happen at the end. But I have done this fight over and over again. And it's pretty much like, it feels like RNG. But try not to get gripped into the fire like that. That's what does it. I'm pretty sure the... Holy Paladin got gripped into fire as well. They're just not a tank, and, and they died. And so that, that fight goes like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to res the uh, H-Pal here, and then I'm going to be nice and res also the other person so that they can drink. And at least as I'm low-geared at this point, um, and I remember Zemok talking about this as a prop Paladin, that he can do like 10 or 20 Word of Glories or something like that. Uh, before he's out of mana, it's like a percentage of your mana. It doesn't even matter like if you get better gear, I think. Um, but uh, as this gets higher, 17 for me, if the healer's not like, oh, you know, over gearing the space like crazy, uh, I'm word of glorying myself, uh, um, which uh, then I have to drink just like the healer, <laughs> which is which is kind of funny. Um, but that's just because I think I'm under geared and, and uh, some, if the healer's under geared too, then it's not quite... Uh, doesn't quite work out for my mana. I'll, I'll actually go oom um myself and I can't word of glory. And I definitely rely on word of glory as a prop pal right now. So if I remember correctly, this actually went really well. And uh, we're making a beeline over here. We have some holy power and boom, shield. We drop consecration in the back, oh well. Um, when we have our tier set, we're gonna have to really pay attention to uh, our consecration, our empowered consecration. I'm using the weak aura, I just don't have the two set. We will very soon. It will be kind of fun, I think, to look at this key, look at the damage, look at the damage intake, the damage outgoing, uh, compared to when we get the tier set. It's going to be kind of cool, I think. I'm interested. That's why I'm playing Paladin. I think that the Ret tier set is cool. Holy is cool. And the Prop Paladin, kind of annoying, but also possibly cool. We'll, we will find out pretty soon, maybe next week. Um, if I don't get, like, some free tier, um... Maybe we'll just commit the two piece down because we're kind of trolling, kind of trolling my higher key groups by having such low eye level. Uh, when I could have like probably like, <laughs> I could I could get up really much much higher if we commit both of our uh, heroic pieces over our 437. So that will be fun next week to hopefully check out the the prop paladin tier set and just see how it performs. I haven't even been watching the meters. I have no idea. Right now, we're in a damage amp phase. There's no world. I'm doing 240k damage. That's like what a fully geared DPS would do. So obviously, we're uh, in the damage amp phase here. And I think it goes down while this tree is up or something like that. I I'm not really paying attention to the numbers. I'm just like trying to keep up Shield the Righteous, trying to stand on my Consecration, and keep aggro on the things I'm supposed to keep aggro on. 
Uh, that is the what I've learned about prop out again. Um, but I think in the past I was only tanking 15s, like at the highest, because uh, it was all pugging. Um, no coordination, no voice groups really. Um, but now if I run with my my guild, they're, they did 20s like the first week. And so I, I imagine by the end they're doing much higher ones. So try to raise the, raise the bar for myself and say, let's, let's tank all the 20s. That would be fun. Um, check out the tier set and try to optimize for damage, I think, is the idea for tanking. So all damage trinkets. Uh, this is something else I've been told recently. <laughs> Whereas I was going to go for the cheat death trinket, and everyone in my guild was like, don't do that. That's not needed. Just play correctly. And I, I can certainly see that, but I don't know. I might still farm it at the end. So we're finishing this up. And plenty of DPS, it's hard to gauge how much DPS they have because it's uh, the damage amp phase, but this was pretty fast. I think this is just two of these, three of these, barely. We just destroyed them after that tier. That wraps it up for my first tanking video of the season. No healing trinket, sad, but we will run this an awful lot. I'll see you on the next one.